pride I comb through social media in all major magazines to identify which celebrities, athletes, and personalities have come out as LGBT. Coming out allows people to develop as a whole individual, develop more genuine relationships, and develop a positive self-image. The purpose of this video is to highlight individuals who have come out. On July 1st, the day after Pride Month, Florida's Parental Rights and Education Bill, aka Don't Say Gay, went into effect. According to the reps from the Orange County Classroom Teachers Association, they were told to remove rainbow stickers from classrooms, safe space stickers from doors, and photos of same-sex spouses, and to report students who came out as LGBT. All of us have to use our power, our voices, and our votes year-round to ensure our communities, our families, and our stories won't be silenced. We cannot return to what life was like for LGBT people before the Stonewall Riots. In the comment section, tell me one of your coming out stories or if you think coming out is important or not. And let me know who's coming out shocked you, who did you fall in love with, and who will you follow on social media. Right now, I want to give a special thank you to everyone who has become a member. Because of your support, I'm able to continue creating content. Please join today to help me create content on a more consistent basis. Now, stay tuned to see who came out during Pride Month this year. Luke Baines is a 32-year-old Australian actor most known for playing in the supernatural drama Shadowhunters on Freeform. On a side note, the show featured a gay storyline between two gay male characters, Alec and Magnus. Because of the storyline, the show won Outstanding Drama Series at the 2017 GLAAD Media Awards. Luke also appeared in horror legend Wes Craven's last film, The Girl in the Photographs. On June 25th, Luke came out as a part of the LGBT community by saying, I've been lucky enough to have been in love twice. The first with a woman, the second with a man. Label that however you like. Congratulations to Luke. Rebel Wilson is probably the most recognizable name in this video. She's an Australian actress, writer, and producer. She appeared in the highly successful film Bridesmaids in 2011, and in 2012, both Pitch Perfect and Ice Age Continental Drift. Wilson publicly came out via Instagram on June 9th, revealing her relationship with her girlfriend, Ramona. She wrote, I thought I was searching for a Disney princess, but maybe what I really needed all this time was a Disney princess. Later, it was revealed that a gay male writer for the Sydney Morning Herald planned to write a story about Rebel's relationship before she came out and he gave her two days to respond. She chose to announce her relationship to preempt the article. The article would have outed her. I'm glad that Rebel chose to come out on her own terms. However, the writer, as a gay man, he should have never pitched this story because it's highly inappropriate and unprofessional. The writer later admitted that he made a mistake. Gerard McCarthy is a 41-year-old actor from Belfast, North Ireland. Gerard is known for their role on the soap opera Holy Oaks, which premiered in 1995. Since its premiere, the show has featured over 80 different LGBT characters. In 2016, Gerard wrote a few episodes for the soap opera. They currently play in the BAFTA-nominated drama The Fall, starring the incredible Gillian Anderson as well as Jamie Dornan. On June 20th, Gerard came out as non-binary and wrote their preferred pronouns are they them, but won't be offended by he him either. Nick McCarthy is a 27-year-old rugby player from Leinster in Ireland. In an interview with his team's website on June 20th, Nick came out as gay. His former teammate, Jack Doon, came out as bisexual last year during Pride Month as well.
Nick counted Jack, along with NFL player Carl Nassib and Australian soccer player Josh Cavallo as models for helping him to come out publicly for Pride Month, his team partnered with, belonged to, an LGBT youth organization for individuals 14 to 23, focusing on mental and sexual health. Congratulations to Nick. Can is an LGBT-owned CBD beverage company, which has a head-turning Pride campaign, which includes a music video called Taste So Good. In the video, Patricia Arquette transforms into Kesha. Kesha is a pop singer and songwriter who co-wrote Till the World Ends for Britney Spears and has sold over 55 million tracks and ringtones worldwide. Her 2009 single TikTok was the best-selling digital song in history, selling over 14 million units internationally until surpassed in 2011. On June 16th, she came out as part of the community stating, I'm not straight and I'm not gay. Kesha, we are who we are. LGBT nonprofits that she has supported in the past include The Trevor Project, It Gets Better Project, Glisten, and Anfar. Congratulations to Kesha. Amy Beth McNulty is a 20 year old Irish Canadian actress, most known for her role as Anne Shirley and Anne with an E. Most recently, she played in Stranger Things as Vicky. She came out as bisexual via Instagram on June 3rd with a beautiful video. In the video, she stated it took eight years to accept herself. Congratulations to Amy Beth. Daniel Jervis is a 26-year-old British swimmer from South Wales. He competed at the 2017 World Aquatics Championships and the 2018 Commonwealth Games, where he won the silver medal in men's 1500-meter freestyle. He also competed at the 2020 Tokyo Olympics, coming in fifth place. In an interview on the BBC's The LGBT Sport Podcast on June 29th, Daniel came out as gay. He was inspired to come out publicly by Jake Daniels, as well as swimmer Michael Gunning, who came out in 2018. He also hopes to be a role model for young LGBT people. Congratulations to Daniel. Dr. Bradley Schaefer is a foot and ankle surgeon who owns a podiatry center in New York City and is on the reality show My Feet Are Killing Me on TLC. He also appeared on NBC's Titan Games, a reality competition show hosted by Dwayne Johnson. Bradley was out in his personal life, but was uncomfortable talking about his personal life in interviews for the TLC show. In an interview on June 8th, Dr. Bradley came out as gay and revealed he has been with his partner, Sean, for 10 years. Season four of My Feet Are Killing Me is currently airing. Congratulations to Dr. Bradley. Craig Napier is a 32-year-old Scottish football referee for the Scottish Football Association. On June 2nd, he publicly came out in a sit-down interview with the Scottish Football Association. He stated, It's really important that people like me are willing to sit here and do this. I don't think this needs to be a news story, but I think at the moment it really does because we need to see uh, the climate change so that people do feel that they can be their true self. You can watch the full video on the association's YouTube channel. Craig was also inspired by Jake Daniels to come out. I love that. And Jake was inspired by Josh Cavallo. Coming out stories are important because they give language to other LGBT people, normalize coming out, and promote understanding. Imagine the Scottish youth who will be inspired by Craig's coming out. A few minutes before Craig's interview on June 2nd was posted, the Back Onside podcast posted an interview with a different Scottish football referee, Lloyd Wilson. Wilson also came out as gay and stated, This has been a horrific journey, to be honest. A journey of maybe 17 years of living a life that I didn't want to live. Living a lie living the way other people wanted me to live. The full video is on Back On Side's YouTube channel. How many other Scottish referees will come out by the end of the year? I will comb through Scottish newspapers every week to find out. Scotland is a country that I hope to visit soon, actually. Then I'll investigate in the gay bars. 
A day before Craig and Lloyd came out, in the States, Variety magazine published a story on Anjanu Ellis coming out as bisexual. Ellis, who is a 53-year-old actress and producer, played in King Richard alongside Will Smith. Her coming out really shocked me, and I'm glad that she came out to inspire other black people to live authentically. Congratulations to Anjanu. Dame Kelly Holmes is a former British middle distance runner who has 19 medals, including two gold medals from the 2004 Summer Olympics in Athens and a bronze medals at the 2000 Summer Olympics in Sydney. She set British records in numerous events and still holds the records over 600 and 1000 meter races. She came out as gay in a documentary titled Kelly Holmes Being Me, which premiered on ITV. Before the interview, she spoke to the Sunday Mirror on June 18th, revealing the secret she had been hiding for 32 years. A brush with COVID made her realize that she needed to show the world her real self. Congratulations to Dame Kelly. Maybelle Blair, born in 1927 in Inglewood, California, is a former All-American Girls pro baseball player who inspired the movie A League of Their Own. While promoting the new TV series A League of Their Own, she came out as a lesbian saying, I hear it for 75, 85 years and this is actually, basically, the first time I've ever come out. Congratulations to Maybelle for coming out. Willow Shields is an actress most known for her role as Primrose Everdeen in The Hunger Games. And in 2015, she appeared on Dancing with the Stars. On June 2nd, she came out as bisexual via Instagram. Three days later, she attended the WeHo Pride Parade and posted this adorable photo with her dog wearing a rainbow collar. Congratulations to Willow. Nicole Serrano is a Christian singer-songwriter. During an interview with GMA on June 9th, they came out as gay and non-binary. Nicole stated that they embraced their identity after years of internalized homophobia stemming from the church. Then Nicole premiered a song titled Nice to Meet You, which is about the coming out journey. Later on June 9th, they performed at L'Avenue at Saks in New York. The day before, Nicole went to the Stonewall Inn to honor Judy Garland's 100th birthday anniversary, June 10th, where Lorna, Judy's daughter, unveiled a portrait that will hang in the bar. Giselle Shaw is a 33-year-old Filipino professional wrestler signed to Impact Wrestling. On June 24th, on the Canadian morning show, Breakfast Television, she came out as a trans woman. She stated, I'm living life to my fullest. Giselle is the first trans femme professional wrestler signed to Impact Wrestling. I'm so proud of this woman. She is passable and didn't have to come out, but she came out to help her sisters and brothers to also live their fullest lives. Congratulations to Giselle. Married at First Sight is one of the highest rated shows in Australia. The finale for season nine drew in 2.6 million viewers and was the most watched show when it aired. One of the contestants, Olivia Frazier, who is a 27 year old teacher, came out as pansexual during an Instagram Q&A on June 2nd. Olivia sees pansexuality as a gift to be able to love anyone. Congratulations to Olivia. In the States, Bachelor alum Elizabeth Corrigan came out as bisexual via Instagram while celebrating New York City Pride on June 26th. Elizabeth stated she has been open about her sexuality with the people she is close to, but she has avoided coming out publicly out of fears others will look at her differently. Congratulations to Elizabeth. Now, the next two individuals didn't come out for the first time during Pride Month, but they're examples of how when we come out, we continue coming out, and when individuals with platforms come out, it helps change public opinion. Nate Stevenson was the creator, showrunner, and executive producer of the animated series She-Ra and the Princess of Power. Nate came out as non-binary in 2020 and used all pronouns. Then, Nate came out as transgender in 2021. On June 30th, Nate created a comic for his family members to help understand 
his transition and posted it via Instagram and Twitter. He stated he uses he, him pronouns now. Jocelyn Hernandez is a reality television personality and the executive producer for the show Jocelyn's Cabaret, which has spinoffs in Atlanta and Vegas. Miami, the first show, premiered in January 2020. Jocelyn previously discussed her sexuality on the show Love & Hip Hop, however, on June 10th, she wrote on Twitter that her gayness is like her skin color and she's finally comfortable in her skin. Congratulations to the Puerto Rican princess. The next two individuals aren't public figures, but their coming out stories are as equally as important. Ryan Resch is the vice president for basketball strategy and evaluation for the Phoenix Suns. On June 25th, he came out by an interview with ESPN. He stated his goal is to normalize for people in and out of basketball the existence of gay men and women within basketball. Colin Scott became Britain's first openly gay state school head teacher at Risedale. The 54-year-old urged his students to be who you want to be at an assembly on June 13th where he introduced his husband, Drew. Colin came out to his students because he wanted to fully embrace himself following fear and turmoil he faced throughout his life, which forced him to quit the Royal Navy. On the same day, the headmaster of the school, Nicholas Hewlett, also came out as gay in a pre-recorded video message and stated that he was also married. If this school was in Florida, they would both be fired immediately. And finally, this is not a coming out story, but a necessary story to tell during these difficult times. On June 25th, hours before the Oslo Pride Parade, after midnight, a male suspect attacked London Pub, the largest gay club in Oslo. Two people lost their lives and 10 others were rushed to the hospital. Because of this, the Pride Parade was canceled. Thousands of Norwegians staged a silent march toward the venue later that day. And on June 27th, members of the community gathered in front of Town Hall to protest the shooting. June 27th also marked the anniversary of New York's Stonewall Riots in 1969, which gave birth to the international gay rights movement and why we have pride. Remember, until all of us are safe, None of us are safe. Be safe wherever you are in the world. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please follow me on Instagram at writervickyates for more about my art and literary projects. And in the comment section, tell me one of your coming out stories or if you think coming out is important or not. And let me know who's coming out shocked you who did you fall in love with and who will you follow on social media? If you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel and become a member if you can. Like and share this video. Thanks for watching. Until next time, have a lovely day. Besos. Mwah.